Uh, let's talk about the offset function. This is Bill Jellin from MrExcel.com. Offset is a wild, wild function. Uh, it's hard to understand because it's so flexible. It offers so many things. Use offset, start off with a starting cell reference and say we're going to go some number of rows down from there, some number of columns right from there, and then point to a range that is some number of rows tall, some number of columns wide. So in the article, we had a situation where someone wanted to start counting uh, summing at C5 and they wanted to go a variable number of rows. So let's take a look at this function, uh, this function right here, press F2. So we start from A5 and we're going to go zero rows down, zero columns over from there to get to the starting cell. And then how tall is it going to be? It's going to be, well, in this case, three cells tall. So we're going to get one plus two plus four uh, should be seven, right? Uh, so that works out great. But then if we change this to say, hey, now we want uh, five, uh, then it's going to add up these five cells. All right, so the offset function allows us to kind of point to a variable size range uh, and we can use a cell to figure out or even a formula to figure that out. Here's an, another example of offset. So we have data for all the months. Here's a current date and we want to add up uh, the totals from that month. So I actually use a starting range of this whole area here, uh, A4 to A11. How many rows down? No rows down, zero. How many uh, columns over? Oh, well, we want to use the month of A1. So in this case, it'll go over one, two, three, four, five, and it will get us the total of those numbers. Let's check real quick, 508, that's good. And we'll put in a different date, six. 30, 2014 should go over and get the data from June. So the total 558, 558, that's working great. Here's another use for offset and this one is just so simple. I have a set of steps I have to do and I've numbered the steps just using the equal one plus the cell above me. All right, I'm going to make this a lot harder. Equal one plus the offset of the current cell, that's E3. How many rows down? Oh, minus one rows down. That goes up one. How many columns over? Zero. All right, and that gets me the exact same answers. Why would I go to all that hassle? Because later on, when I realize that step 3B is not necessary and I delete that step, oh, these all change to reference errors. Oh, no, but these continue to work. Worth the extra time if you're going to be deleting rows and have that list.